We are really at such a significant point at the Royal Hospital for Women. We're about to make a breakthrough in gynaecology and hopefully undertake the very first uterine transplant procedure performed in Australia. I'm Dr Rebecca Deans. I'm a gynaecologist at the Royal Hospital for Women and um, I'm really excited to introduce the uterine transplant project. There are many women who have absolute uterine factor infertility, so they're born without a uterus or have a hysterectomy and can't have children. It gives them an opportunity to have a baby and carry a child and be a mother. So the concept and science of uterine transplant really started in the early 2000s and um, Matt Branstrom, who's the chief investigator for the first team to achieve a live birth around the world, who is a Swedish gynaecologist, had this concept when he came to um, Adelaide, Australia, in fact, for his fellowship and met a patient who put the question to him, why uh, do we not do uterine transplant procedures? And she was facing a hysterectomy for a cancer procedure. He completed his fellowship, he went back to Sweden and developed the research protocol, taking it through ethics in 2010 when I first met him and then in 2014 reporting his first live births. Not only has he done that, he's gone and then trained the majority of the teams around the world. He's been heavily involved in our project and he's very excited about coming back to the Royal Hospital for Women to perform our first uterine transplant procedures with us. So the trial that we've had approval for um, is for 12 uterine transplant procedures and at the moment we are um, in the process of doing the fertility treatments for these women that are, are looking to join the study. So women will have IVF before and that'll be largely done through the Fertility Research Centre at the Royal Hospital for Women where we collect the eggs, put the eggs with the partner's sperm and grow those embryos to day five and freeze them. And we have those essentially on ice waiting and then we do the transplant procedure. I just, I can't even imagine what it's going to be like seeing that first live birth. I think personally for me, it will just be the greatest thing in my career. I think I've invested 10 years in this. It also is such a wonderful thing because I've looked after women with congenital absence of a uterus for so, so long. I've published in the area. I'm, I've started a support group through the Royal Hospital for Women for these many, many years ago um, for these women who suffer with this condition. People haven't understood you know how big a burden this is on these individuals so to be able to just give them an option is going to be wonderful and um, I think it'll just be I'm so excited to be part of it and feel really proud that I've got such a great team around me that is just helping me to get this off the ground.